Streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now, this weekend. Good evening, and thank you for watching News 8 Now this weekend. I'm Michael Germain. Roadways have reopened following a chemical fire in Chippewa Falls. According to a Facebook post by the Chippewa Falls Police Department, first responders were called to an interior chemical fire at TTM Technologies. At the time of the post, the Chippewa Falls Police Department said the fire was out and employees have been evacuated, but the roadways were shut down due to hazardous chemicals in the building. By 2 p.m., the roadways were reopened and emergency crews left the area. On Friday, a fire broke out around 8 p.m. at Joe Rudd Trucking in Caledonia. Today, a GoFundMe page was made to raise money for a family affected by the fire. The page aims to raise funds for the Taylor family's medical bills. If you would like to donate, we'll have a link on our digital platforms. Our team has reached out to the Caledonia Fire Department for updates on the fire, but we have not received a response yet. We will continue to keep you updated with any new information both on air and on the web. A retail store in Eau Claire is being directed to stop selling some of their pesticide products. Today, the United States Environmental Protection Agency ordered Menards in Eau Claire to cease the sale of unregistered pesticide products. The company is no longer allowed to sell antimicrobial filters and allergen filters, which contain unregistered pesticides and are currently being sold online. The EPA claims that the company's website suggests that these products could or should be used against COVID-19. According to federal law, all pesticides must undergo evaluation through the EPA's registration process to ensure that they perform as intended before they can be distributed or sold. The pesticide will not be registered until it's determined to be safe for use. Well, we had a couple showers that passed through this evening, although since then it's been pretty dry out there. A lot of those showers really dissipated by around 9 p.m., so we got some quiet conditions out there. Those are going to continue as we get into our overnight period. Here are our rain totals for the last 24 hours. Most of us didn't really see much of any rain other than maybe a couple trace sprinkles, just some pavement waters out there. Much of that rain staying over into our Minnesota counties. So as we get into Sunday going into this evening, it's going to be a pretty nice evening if you have any plans to still get out there on this Saturday night. It'll stay nice and cool for you staying in those 70s until we get into those overnight hours, getting down into the 60s, low 60s for our lows tonight, and then leaving behind partly cloudy to sunny skies skies for my, or excuse me for Sunday I'm jumping ahead already our overnight lows again sticking in the low 60s so just around normal for this time of year as we get into those morning hours we might see a few patches of fog going into lacrosse and then Eau Claire not much fog there as we're really only tracking that in those lower line areas but it's going to be a beautiful day lots of sunshine and getting into the upper 70s already by the noon hour so it'll be gorgeous out there definitely get out there and enjoy it if you have the time tomorrow Sounds like a plan. Nicole, thank you. Yeah. The Cooley Recovery Center is raising awareness to help end the stigma surrounding substance use disorder and mental health. The campaign has been running all summer long, featuring different educational topics each week. Today, community members had the opportunity to connect and share their stories of addiction, knowing they are not alone. People had the chance to visit a resource fair, which provides information about addiction and mental health services, including how to access these programs for themselves or a loved one in need. Substance use can be described as a disease at times, and for many people, it's a disease that they have no control over. So we basically want to end the negatory um, labeling for these individuals. People also had the chance to listen to live music performed by individuals in long-term recovery. Today, a grand opening ceremony was held at an Ontario high school to mark the unveiling of the new additions to the school. Brookwood High School unveiled its new track and football field, as well as a PE facility with a ribbon cutting ceremony. These new facilities mark the first phase of a $24.9 million referendum project, $5 million of which came from grants. The second phase will include the expansion of various areas, such as technical education, the Trades Learning Center, and the gymnasium. If you pass by the fest grounds this evening, you likely notice a motorcycle extravaganza. The first Big River Rally kicked off on Friday, which provides a weekend of fun for motorcycle enthusiasts. On Friday, attendees had the chance to enjoy the beautiful scenery of the Cooley region, 
the 50-mile loop along the Mississippi River. Today, bikers departed for over a 100-mile ride with stops to enjoy local food, beverages, and views. Bringing this to La Crosse into this area was our hope, right? People coming from all over to um, get to know our area and hopefully return, right? Because they're like, wow, that was really beautiful and it was a really great place to visit. That was kind of the inspiration for this. Officials hope this can become an annual event in La Crosse. There was plenty of fun, including live music and even a bike show. When you think of traditional water sports, log rolling might not be the first thing that comes to mind. But that's exactly what's making waves at the 7th annual Holman Summer Splash, which kicked off on Friday. The event features a log rolling tournament with participants ranging from beginners to seasoned pros. Friday was all about the advanced rollers who compete nationwide. Today, the spotlight shifted to the beginners, some of whom have been rolling for less than a year. The Summer Splash director says this tournament is a chance to share her passion for the sport with others. For me, it makes me so happy because I get to share my love and passion for the sport uh, with the lacrosse and Holman area community. So it's just a really cool thing to see. The event has grown bigger every year. When it first started, there were only 16 competitors. This year, that number has grown to 80. An annual convention is kicking off its second day in lacrosse. This year marks the 10th anniversary of CoolyCon, a gaming convention held at the Lacrosse Center. Each year, CoolyCon partners with other gaming organizations to raise funds in support of Children's Miracle Network Hospital and Gunderson Health System. During this year's event, guests can enjoy a variety of activities, including a 40-player mega game, a miniature painting contest, and a cosplay contest. The president of Cooley Games says the convention is a way for beginners to learn how to play different types of tabletop games. It's a great opportunity to just uh, introduce yourself and your children to the hobby. If you just want to see what does it look like, what do these games look like. The convention will continue until this Sunday. Although online ticket sales have ended, tickets can still be purchased at the event. There are just 80 days left until the 2024 presidential campaign, as both candidates are making a push for the crucial state of Pennsylvania. Those details when we return. My son, Nick, took illicit fentanyl, which cost him his life. And knowing that my son is never coming back is the worst thing that I will have to live with for the rest of my life. Tammy Baldwin's been with us every step of the way. She just got a major bill passed to really crack down on fentanyl. She doesn't just talk the talk, but she actually walks the walk. I cannot tell you how much we appreciate Tammy Baldwin fighting this fight. I'm Tammy Baldwin. I approve this message. T-Mobile coverage in my area is wonderful. We have eight acres and it gives you peace of mind to know that you're going to have a reliable signal. We enjoy hiking, we enjoy the outdoors. The coverage has been great. And after investing billions to light up our network from big cities to small towns, T-Mobile is America's largest and fastest 5G network. See for yourself. Try T-Mobile's network free for three months. Your phone, our network, no strings. Improving your home, improving your life with new windows. If you are tired of old windows that don't open or close properly, that are drafty and cold, that are rotting and falling apart, your life can be better. Enjoy comfort, convenience, and peace of mind with new windows. Feel good when your home looks great inside and out. Call or visit the board store for a prompt free estimate. Get more for less today and every day. The board store, 524 Copeland, La Crosse. With 80 days until the presidential election, former President Trump and Vice President Harris are making a push for the crucial state of Pennsylvania. The vice president is hoping to sway voters there after unveiling her economic plan, calling for subsidies for new home buyers and child tax credits for parents. While Trump is hoping to turn the state red once again, Natalie Brand reports from Washington. Former President Donald Trump rallied supporters Saturday in the key battleground of Pennsylvania, his second rally in the state since last month's assassination attempt. 80 days from now, we are going to defeat a communist known as Kamala Harris. The Republican presidential candidate aimed his latest attacks at Vice President Kamala Harris's economic policy agenda. She says she's going to lower the cost of food and housing starting on day one. But day one for Kamala was three and a half years ago. So 
Why didn't she do it then? Harris unveiled her plans to try and lower costs on Friday, including a proposed federal ban on price gouging. Together, we will build what I call an opportunity economy. Recent polls in Pennsylvania show a tightening race between Harris and Trump, a state he narrowly won in 2016 but lost in 2020. The economy is horrible. We need, we need change. J.D. Vance for Trump, absolutely 100% better than Walz's for Harris. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz campaigned in Nebraska Saturday, the state where the Democratic vice presidential candidate was born and raised. We believe in the promise of America. We just have to fight. Governor Walls and Vice President Harris are kicking off a bus tour of western Pennsylvania on Sunday, a day before the start of the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, Washington. Former President Trump is set to deliver remarks on the economy at a campaign event in York, Pennsylvania Monday, while his running mate Ohio Senator J.D. Vance heads to Philadelphia. Coming up on News 8, how artificial intelligence is being used to spread misinformation. We're going to see some warmer and sunnier conditions for Sunday that could creep into the much of next week. I'll have all the details coming up at the next forecast. Charge your career with a welding position at Chart Industries. Do you have a year or more of welding experience? Starting wages up to $35 per hour. We have the job for you. Apply today at jobs.chartindustries.com. Our son Trent overcame kidney disease and beat cancer. But when he injured his leg, he took what he thought was a pain pill. It was laced with fentanyl, and it killed him. He was 23. We reached out to Tammy Baldwin, but all we got back was a form letter. Obviously, she doesn't care about families like ours. Our kids are dying from fentanyl pouring across our border. And we can't trust Tammy Baldwin to stop it. Fix Washington Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. Mo, dig. Trench. The reliable Kubota BX Series subcompact tractor is highly capable. A smooth hydrostatic transmission makes for easy operation and versatile attachments that help you handle the job. The Kubota BX Series, rated number one in durability and owner experience. Talk to your Kubota dealer to schedule a demo. Visit any of your local Johnson tractor dealerships in Menominee, Baldwin, Osseo, and Arcadia. Hey, Dominic here, and I want to show you just how easy it is to make tacos and taco dip using Taco Pleasing. For the tacos, just brown one pound of ground meat with four teaspoons of Taco Pleasing. Add a half a cup of water, simmer 15 minutes, spoon into a taco shell, and add your favorite garnish. For taco dip, blend cream cheese and a half cup of milk until smooth, then add one tablespoon of Taco Pleasing. Be sure to get your Taco Pleasing and 37 other blends at the Pleasing Outlet store on Ward Avenue, La Crosse. Mmm, tacos. Wood Sales and Service is your largest family-owned and operated outdoor power equipment dealer in the Cooley region. We feature a large selection of products and services. Find steel, Cub Cadets, Toro, Altos, Yanmar, Coyote Tractors and Implements, Valley Forestry Equipment, Central Wood Boilers, Green Pellet Grills, Ramble E-Bikes, and much more. Plus our experienced service department for after the sale. That's Wood Sales and Service, Black River Falls. Family-owned and operated since 1968. WoodSalesService.com. Charge your career with a welding position at Chart Industries. Do you have a year or more of welding experience? Starting wages up to $35 per hour. We have the job for you. Apply today at jobs.chartindustries.com. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions, your choice for quality, affordable windows, installed by our experienced team. Contact us or stop into our showroom today for your free estimate. The news continues on News 8 Now. Expect more. OpenAI reports it discovered and disrupted an Uranian influence campaign. OpenAI says the Uranian group had used its chat GPT to generate misinformation to be spread online. Some of the content was related to the United States presidential election, the Olympics, and the war in Gaza. OpenAI banned several ChatGPT accounts using the artificial intelligence chat box that were associated with the Iranian efforts. The company said the Iranian attempt did not seem to get much audience engagement before they were deactivated. A new test could help stop the spread of a sexually transmitted disease by making it easier for people to find out their status. 
Sales for the first at-home over-the-counter syphilis tests have been approved. The FDA made the announcement Friday, saying this is just a first step for someone who suspects they have the disease. If the person tests positive, then they are advised to visit a health care provider. The test will take just 15 minutes from start to finish. A single drop of blood will determine if someone has syphilis. The maker of the test, Now Diagnostics, said it should be available in the next few months and it will cost $30. Syphilis cases increased 80% between 2018 and 2022. Purdue Food, Foods excuse me, is recalling more than 167,000 pounds of frozen chicken products over possible metal contamination. The voluntary recall includes 22-ounce bags of Purdue and Butcher Box organic chicken breast nuggets and 29-ounce bags of regular chicken breast tenders. A Purdue representative said a thin strand of metal was found during the manufacturing process. According to the USDA, the products have a best by date of March 23rd. They were shipped to several food retailers across the country and sold online. So far, no reports of any adverse reactions. If you have any of these products, throw them out. Certain prescription drugs will eventually cost less. The Biden administration announced a deal with pharmaceutical companies to lower prices for 10 of Medicare's costliest drugs, from blood thinners to diabetes medications. Prices won't go into effect until 2026. The White House says it will save taxpayers $6 billion, but it's not clear how much each older American can expect to save when they fill a prescription. TikTok is fighting back again as its future still remains uncertain in the United States. The social media platform is denying storing sensitive American user data in China. That's something the U.S. Justice Department has accused the Chinese-based company of doing. In a new court filing Thursday, TikTok urged the federal appeals court to block a law that could result in a nationwide ban of the app. The company said it's filing that the U.S. government has no evidence that China has ever accessed American user data. Lawmakers are trying to force the app's Beijing-based owner, ByteDance, to give up control. President Joe Biden signed a law in April saying that TikTok must find a new owner by mid-January of 2025 or will be banned from the U.S. entirely. TikTok filed a lawsuit in May asking the court to block the law. Well, those summer-like temperatures have returned throughout the region, and with that, let's send it over to meteorologist Nicole Skalicki for a check on our weekend weather forecast. Yeah, we definitely are going to start to feel a little bit of a warm-up as we get into the beginning of next week. Now, we didn't necessarily get cold in these last few days. We were a few degrees below average, though, with all of those sprinkles that we had out and about in the region. So for tomorrow, we're going to have a sunny and warm end to our weekend. A great finale if you didn't have a chance to get out there today. It was pretty nice out, but it's going to even be even better tomorrow. So I would definitely try to get out there if you have any time tomorrow. After that, it's going to be pretty warm and pretty quiet in terms of weather going into the next week, but we could have a possible warm up as we get into next weekend. So taking it back to tomorrow again, it's going to be a beautiful end to our weekend. Really not a cloud in the sky, maybe a sprinkle or two off into the west, but mainly dry skies, mainly clear skies as well and getting into the mid to low 80s tomorrow. So it's going to be the perfect August weekend day. If you have the chance to get out there, I would really urge you to do it. It's going to be beautiful. I mean, it's not like we don't have weather like that coming up in the next week because we do that's going to be the trend for the entire week it's going to be a beautiful august week again only 10 percent chances for rainfall for much of the week just because with all that sunshine we could have a few stray showers pop up in those afternoon hours but here's our rain tracker for the next week we'll be lucky if some of us even see a trace of rainfall really not much in terms of rain and that's really thanks to our upper level pattern that we have going for this weekend as we can see going through sunday monday and Tuesday, we're going to see these mild conditions really stick around until we start to see two of these areas of cooler air off into the northwest and the northeast. This is what we call an omega block, and that usually tends to bring quieter conditions into the central portions of the U.S., and that's exactly what we're expecting to happen for next week. It's going to be mild to a little bit warmer and dry and not a lot going on. Very quiet, very calm conditions for much of next week until we start getting closer to next weekend here on Friday. We can see that warm 
warmer, hotter ridge of air starting to move a little bit closer to an, into our region, although that's still a ways out there and we can't nail down the timing exactly. But here we have our forecasted temperatures for the next 10 days. For the next few days, we're staying right around normal, but then we can see just a little bit of a warm up as we get into later ne into next week or ex later into this week for La Crosse. Very similar story for Eau Claire, staying right around normal for the next few days. But as we get to the end of the next week, we could see a little bit of a bump in those temperatures, just five to eight degrees above average. So nothing too major as our average for this time of year is in those low 80s. We could just be getting up into those upper 80s once again, which could be fine for this time of year if you're missing those warmer temperatures. Now we are tracking the chance to see some fog again this morning. That's mainly going to be in those lower lying areas in those river valleys. Nothing too major, just some patchy fog. For tomorrow though, again, it's going to be a very typical August day getting into the low to mid 80s for much of the area. Some of us may be seeing those upper 70s because there will be a stray cloud or two out there, but that's going to be the trend for much of the week. A lot of sunshine shine a lot of low 80s so definitely get out there and enjoy we do have that warm-up maybe coming next weekend so it's going to be a beautiful week ahead perfect definitely going to be a good time to get outside and enjoy those outdoor activities oh, for yeah, sure I'm, I'm planning on it for sure nicole thank you coming up in sports week two of the nfl preseason plus the brewers were going for a series win as they host the guardians kate is the highlights after the break News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin with six locations of fun. Welcome to Washington, D.C. You got a bunch of loudmouth preening politicians. It's absolute chaos. I'm Derek Van Orden, and after 26 years as a Navy SEAL, there's a few things that I learned. You stay on mission, you know what you're fighting for, and sometimes you gotta get a little dirty to finish the job. Let's go, kids. Not, not you. Not you. You. Let's go. <laughs> I'm Derek Van Orden. And, oh, I approve this message. It's time to make America golf again. Buy your 2025 Platinum Golf membership this month and play the rest of 2024 free. That's right. Play the rest of this year free when you purchase your 2025 Platinum membership now. Save more when you make America golf again. Visit us online at drugans.com or call 526-4144. At Drugans Country Club, yes, Drugans. News 8 Now and Dairyland Power Cooperative present the Community Calendar. It's time for the 60th annual Holman Corn Fest, August 16th to the 18th. Fun for the whole family, including fireworks, parade, fun run, car show, a variety of food, and plenty of sweet corn. The Houston County Fair takes place August 14th to the 18th at the Houston County Fairgrounds in Caledonia. Enjoy carnival rides, tractor pull, rodeo, demolition derby, and much more. For more information on these events, or if you'd like to submit an event, visit news8000.com. At River Valley Remodelers, we know that the bathroom is the most personal space in your house. That's why we don't come in with preconceived ideas or cookie cutter installs. We'll sit down and talk with you about your needs and dreams. Whether it's a tub or shower or an entire bathroom design, we'll take the time to talk with you and get things just the way you want it. For a limited time, get a free shower door or a color upgrade with your shower purchase. So let's talk about the most personal room in your house. River Valley Remodelers, improve your home, build our community. Covering all of the exciting action from your community, here's News 8 Now Sports with Kate Overton. Welcome to News 8 Now Sports. Soon our Saturdays will be filled with college football, and that means we're nearing the final stretch of the MLB season. The Brewers will be without Christian Yelich for the remainder of the season. But the team has been picking up win after win and looked for another one tonight. Let's go to AmFam Field. Brewers threatening in the first inning. Man on second for Gary Sanchez. He lines one into the gap and left off the wall. Bryce Terang will come in to score as the Brewers take the lead. Freddie Peralta on the mound. Really, the only mistake he made came here in the fourth. Nobody on, and Josh Naylor takes him deep. Naylor's 27th of the year. We're tied at one. Bottom half of the fourth, and William Contreras gets a hold of this one. This one clears the fence in a hurry as Contreras gives Milwaukee the lead, and then to the ninth, Devin Williams in to close it out. Ground ball to third ball game. Brewers win two to one as Williams grabs his third save in four days. 
Twins, they were down in Texas taking on the Rangers, tied at one in the fourth. But Rangers' Carson Kelly smashes this baseball off the wall and center. One run comes around to score as Texas takes a 2-1 to one lead. Twins trying to rally. Bases loaded for Willie Castro. He grounds one past the infield. Two runs coming to score, and the throw to third gets away into the dugout. So that means a third run comes in as the Twins jump in front and would go on to win 5-2. to two. They're now just two games back from the Guardians. Last week, the Minnesota Vikings feeling pretty good after their rookie quarterback threw for two touchdown passes in his first preseason game. But then we found out that J.J. McCarthy will miss the entire season after having knee surgery to repair his meniscus. So now all eyes are on Sam Darnold, who will be QB1 to start the year, but he was not playing today. So it was Nick Mullins who got the start. Let's go there. Vikings taking on the Browns in some preseason action. First drive of the game, third and eight, and Mullins lets it fly, connects with Jalen Naylor for the first down and more. And then later, now in the red zone, Mullins going to the end zone. What a grab by Tristan Jackson for the 14-yard score. Vikings take the lead. Let's go to the second quarter. Browns trying to score before the half. Tyler Huntley throwing downfield, but it's tipped and intercepted by Lewis Seen. Comes away with it. Seen was on fire today. Led the defense in almost every category as the Vikings they go on to win 27 to 12. A bunch of NFL preseason action, but the Packers fans are going to have to wait until tomorrow to see their team in action. Green Bay will face Denver in preseason week two. Now a bunch of starters, including Jordan Love, will not be playing, and we've most likely seen the end of QB1 until the actual season gets underway in September. Love and the rest of the starters were participating in a joint practice with the Broncos on Friday. A lot of good reps against a team different than Green Bay. It's always helpful, and for the non-starters, they'll continue to battle it out on Sunday night. Sticking in the division, the Packers and the Lions, two favorites to win the division, but over in Chicago, they've got a new quarterback. Number one overall pick, Caleb Williams, making waves in today's preseason game. Scrambles out of the pocket, connects with Romo Dunze for the long pickup, and then on third and goal, this is why he was the number one overall pick. Just so calm in the pocket, scrambles away, finds the space, and then he's going to run it in for the seven-yard score. Still a rookie, but showing glimpses of what the NFC North could be dealing with in the future. The WNBA returned this week. Rookie phenom Caitlin Clark dominant last night, putting up 29 points, five rebounds, 10 assists. Now, before they took the Olympic break, Clark had a 19-assist game. And she now becomes the first player in WNBA history to record 50 points and 25 assists over any two-game span. Clark has also been playing basketball nonstop since the start of the college season last fall. Maybe a small break was exactly what she needed. Reminder, Packers tomorrow night, 7 o'clock for preseason. That's all for sports. We'll be right back. My cancer drugs, $1,800 per month. My hospital bill for a heart attack, $241,544.18. I'm Rebecca Cook. My parents are like a lot of folks hit hard by sky-high medical bills. And with hospital closures, access to care is an even greater challenge. So what does Derek Van Orden say? Destroy Badger Care, gut Medicare, deny women reproductive care. I'll fight for affordable health care. Derek Van Orden won't. And that's why I approve this message. Go get a money. Improving your home, improving your life with a better bathroom. In just a day or two, you can enjoy a wonderful new tub or shower that is attractive, easy to care for, and safe. New fixtures, shelves for storage, and grab bars for safety. Be safe, be happy, enjoy bathing again. Be even happier with everything new. Comfort height, toilet, vanity, sink, faucet, mirror, light, and new flooring. Call or visit the board store for a prompt free estimate. Get more for less today and every day. Arby's is full of choices. Quick, you can get your favorite stuff. stuff, stuff, stuff. Three for five dollars. Incredible value. value for a limited time. Reach in and eat whatever you grab. Arby's, we have the meat. Did you know that when you buy from Maury's, you get Maury's promise? Maury's will always offer you our best price first, up front, pure and simple. And our product specialists are commission free, so there's no haggling necessary. Our lifetime powertrain warranty on new vehicles covers your engine and transmission nationwide for life. 
Also, our powertrain warranty on Morey's certified pre-owned vehicles covers you for 10 years, 100,000 miles, and much, much more. Morey's, moving life forward. You just have to get in the seat of a John Deere Gator XUV 835M, not because of the spacious cargo box or because it can tackle any terrain. Not even because it tows up to 4,000 pounds. You just have to get in the seat because something about being this productive just makes you smile. <laughs> Visit Tractor Central, take a seat, and see for yourself why nothing runs like a deer. Start now at TractorCentral.com. My part-time service in the Army National Guard makes it possible for me to be more for the community I call home. Learn more about how you, too, can live and serve part-time close to home by visiting NationalGuard.com. The Olympics are over, but there's one race this week many eagerly awaited, and it may inspire you to think differently about a bathtub. Yes, you heard correctly. CBS's Leah Mishkin reports from London. In the Belgium city of Dinan, a picturesque scene, boats floating on the river for an annual sporting event. It's the close-up that makes this race unique. These rafts have to be made using a bathtub, and per regulations, that bathtub must touch the river. More than 200 participants all hoping to cross the finish line without sinking. The colorfully decorated regatta is an annual tradition that goes back to 1982. An organizer says it all started when a local shopkeeper heard on the Italian radio that another shopkeeper had gone down a river in a bathtub in Italy. As the story goes, he was inspired to give it a go, bought a bunch of bathtubs and handed them out to local shops to encourage businesses to join him. Teams can only use human force to move the rafts down the course, which is just over half a mile long. Everyone finishes a winner with awards given for beauty and originality. Leah Mishkin, CBS News. That looks like a bunch of fun if you ask me, but the event draws in more than 25,000 people according to a local tour tourism website. Stay with us. We'll have one final check of your forecast when we return. See the stories you missed or watch them again on our YouTube page. Or find us at news8000.com. Don't sweat the prices this summer at Black River Furniture Outlet. Stop in and try our new Poly Outdoor. Bottom prices on top quality fan back, roll back, and swivel gliders. Love seats, pub seats, side tables, and more. Shop rustic cabin furniture handcrafted from real wood, perfect for any home. Accent with chair sides, lamps, and a huge selection of rugs. Finish up in the bed shed and browse different styles for any size. Storage beds and bunk beds available. Celebrating 30 years of community and business, Black River Furniture Outlet, Black River Falls. We're digging in on Highway 61 and getting ready to build a new Chrysler Winona. But we are packed with cars where the building is supposed to go and we need to make room. During the Make This the Summer event, we have huge savings on our best models. New vehicles under $40,000 include a well-appointed Jeep Grand Cherokee or Ram 1500 quad cab. Save up to $10,000 on a new Ram heavy duty truck or $11,000 off a new Ram 1500 Bighorn crew cab. So come see us at our new location, Highway 61, Winona. Craving authentic Mexican flavors? Look no further than Senor Villa. At Senor Villa, we bring the taste of Mexico to your table every day. Join us for our unbeatable $5 lunch specials packed with flavor and value. And don't miss our nightly specials where the fiesta never ends. Senor Villa, where great food meets great value. Visit us today. Senor Villa, the taste of Mexico you've been craving. Just a flooring store. We're your partners that can create a home. It lasts a lifetime. Our flooring from Sealands is perfect for muddy feet and waterproof fights. Ah! Sealands Carpaland in Coo Valley. Let us help you find the perfect flooring because our number one priority is you. Stop in today. berry fudge is amazing. Mmm, this is melting in my mouth. Dill pickle? Whoa, that's actually good. Mmm, 
Holy fudge, this is the best thing ever. Expressions brought to you by Valley Fudge and Candy. Find us in Coon Valley, Wisconsin or order online today. It's going to be a perfect end to our weekend, sitting in the 80s tomorrow. Excellent day to get out there and golf. I yes. mean, if you have an early tea time, it might be some fog out there, but really nothing to be too concerned about. I might go golfing tomorrow. I was looking go. at booking a tea time. Might have to start a little uh, News 8 friendly tournament here. I would get I'm last. really bad. I would get I last. Golf. We could all fight for last. Mini golf, though. Yeah, I mini golf. Okay. I'd love to see it. Well, we'll see you all tomorrow night.